and welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. I am your favorite professor, Paul Markle. We're going to give an acknowledgement to our sponsor, Amoland.com. Check them out. Now, today we want to talk about a little subject that uh, my friend, Sheriff Jim Wilson, he likes to call it playing at self-defense or playing at personal defense. And uh, there are certain things that people do that constitute playing and not really being serious. And one of them is carrying only once in a while. If you have a concealed carry permit and you decided, whatever reason, I want to carry or I'm going to carry a firearm for personal protection, that's fantastic. You've made the decision, you've made the acknowledgement that there may be a time when I need to use a firearm to protect my life or protect the lives of my children and my family and so forth. And that's fantastic. But what people will do is they'll fall into this reasonableness trap and they'll only carry sometimes or occasionally or they talk themselves out of carrying. Well, if you've made the decision to carry a firearm for personal defense, you need to do it all the time, every day, whenever it's possible for you to do it, you need to do it. Uh, this whole, it, it, it kind of boils down to just like, Buying, it, would you buy car insurance that only covered you every other Wednesday, some Saturdays, and you know Sundays twice a week or twice a month? Well, no, of course you wouldn't. Now, would you co buy car insurance that only covered you on Friday nights and Saturday nights when most automobile crashes occur and it didn't cover you the rest of the day or the rest of the week? Well, no, you wouldn't. And you're carrying this because this is life assurance, not life insurance, life assurance. And you're not carrying it because you're going out looking for trouble. You're carrying it because sometimes trouble just finds you. Wherever you happen to be, it finds you. So if you've made the decision to carry, fantastic. Do it as often as possible. But if you're talking yourself out of it, then you're really not serious about personal protection. You're just playing at self-defense. So make that decision. It's a personal decision, but if you're going to do it, do it. It's like wearing your seatbelt only when you're going to drive fast or only when you're on the highway. It doesn't make any sense. So if you're going to carry, carry. Don't play at self-defense. Now, what's our recommended reading for today? Okay, I saved this one because I didn't want to seem mm, arrogant or whatever. But Student of the Gun, a beginner once, a student for life. If you haven't purchased this book yet, A, shame on you, but you have the opportunity right now. If you would like a signed copy, you can go to studentofthegun.com. You can order a signed copy right there from the website. Uh, if not, if you just want a plain old regular copy, you can order them from Barnes & Noble or Amazon or any of your normal booksellers. So, for all things Student of the Gun, what are you going to do? You're going to go to studentofthegun.com.